Uh, you're a student of history, fan of Dan Carlin's Hardcore History podcast. Yeah, it's great. Greatest podcast ever. Yeah, I think it, probably, it is, actually. <laughs> I, 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 it, does, it almost doesn't really count as a podcast. Yeah, it's, it's, not, so it's, good. It's, it's, it's more like an audio book. Yeah. So you were on the podcast with Dan. I just had a chat with him about it. He said you guys want military and all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, it's literally, uh, it was basically, um, uh, I th 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 it should be titled Engineer Wars. Uh, essentially, like, like when there's a rapid change in the rate of technology, then uh, engineering plays a pivotal role in, in victory and battle. Um, Do you so. get, how far in, back in history did you go? Did you go World War II? Uh, it was you... mostly well. It was supposed to be a deep dive on fighters and bomber uh, technology in World War II, um, but that ended up being more wide ranging than that. Because yeah. um, I just went down the a total rat hole of like studying all of the the fighters and bombers of World War II and, and like the constant rock paper scissors game that, like you know, uh, one country would make this plane, then it make a plane to beat that, and that try to make a plane to beat that, and then they'll. <laughs> And really what matters is like the, the pace of innovation um, and also access to high quality uh, fuel and uh, raw materials. So like Germany had like some amazing designs, but they couldn't make them uh, because they couldn't get the raw materials. Uh, and uh, they, they had a real problem with the oil and, and, and uh, fuel, basically. The fuel quality was extremely uh, variable. So the design wasn't the bottleneck? It was uh, the, yeah, like the, the US had kick-ass fuel. Uh, that was like very consistent. Like the problem is, if, if you make a very high performance aircraft engine, um, in order to make high performance, you have to um, the, the, the 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 fuel, the, the aviation gas, uh, has to be a consistent mixture, and uh, uh, it, it has to have a high high octane. Um, but it, like high octane is the most important thing, but also can't have like impurities and stuff because uh, you'll you'll foul up the engine. And, and and Germany just never had good access to oil. Like they tried to get it by invading the Caucasus, mm -hmm. um, but that didn't work too well. <laughs> that never work. works well. Didn't work out for them. Um, <laughs> See you, Jay. See you, Jay. Nice, nice to meet you. So they're, they're always just, Germany was always struggling with shit, with basically shitty oil, mm -hmm. um, and so then they could not uh, they they couldn't count on a on high quality fuel for their aircraft. So then they had to add all have all these additives and and stuff. Uh, so. Um, uh, whereas the U.S. had awesome fuel, um, and that provided that to Britain as well. Um, so that allowed the British and the Americans to design uh, aircraft engines that were uh, super high performance, better than anything else in the world. And Germany, Germany could, could could design the engines; they just didn't have the fuel, uh, and then also the like so the the, uh, the quality of the aluminum alloys that they were getting was also not that great. And so, yeah. Did you? Is this like uh, you talked about all this with Dan? Yeah. Awesome.